January is supposed to be the coldest month of the year and the snowiest, but northeastern and central Pennsylvania certainly did not get the memo this year. Storm Director 16 meteorologist Ellie Gallo takes a look back at January's mild and snowless weather. For both northeastern and central Pennsylvania, 2023 is now ranked in the top five for warmest Januarys on record, coming in at number two for Williamsport and number four for Scranton. Almost every single day this month was what's considered to be above average, with the exception of just three days, the weekend of January 14th and 15th, and now the last day of the month. Two were considered to be right at average, and the rest were above. The warmest day this month was on Wednesday, January 4th. The high temperature was 61 degrees that day in Scranton and 60 in Williamsport. The coldest temperatures recorded for the month were on the morning of the 16th. It was 17 degrees that morning in northeastern PA and 22 degrees that morning in central PA. That also happened to be Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Despite a chilly start, it ended up being arguably one of the nicest days of the month. With nothing but sunshine and temperatures in the 40s, people all across northeastern and central PA enjoyed their day off. And ski resorts in the area celebrated this very welcomed sight. But the only thing worse than the phrase above average winter for ski resorts is a lack of snow. And January 2023 can definitely be defined by that. Here in the WNEP backyard, we picked up one inch of snow on January 23rd and then one inch on the 25th. Less than a half an inch fell on the last morning of the month, and those were the only three days the entire month where we received measurable snow. So 2.4 inches of snow total for the month of January puts 2023 in the top 10 for least snowiest Januaries on record. Looking ahead to the first few days of February, we will be seeing the coldest air we've seen in more than a month, and likely the coldest air we have seen so far this winter season. Just a reminder that there is still plenty of winter left to go. Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16.